Star Marine is an arcade FPS combat mode available in Star Citizen. In this module, you can play as a Marine of the United Empire of Earth or as a fearless outlaw. You can choose between private battles to play with friends or public fights to challenge other players. Together, we'll see how to customize the loadout, the two game mods, Star Marine's game mechanics, the maps and eventually the leaderboards. Now, let's take a look at the loadout. Before entering a game session, you can customize your character's loadout. You can save three different loadouts for the different game mods. You can choose your primary and secondary weapons, your sidearm, modify your armor pieces, and pick some usables. Each weapon has its specifics. The Gallant Energy Rifle shoots with accuracy, but has a limited firepower. The P4 AR is a ballistic rifle that favors firepower at the expense of accuracy. The P8 SC is a ballistic SMG. It has more recoil than the P4 AR. The Devastator is an energy shotgun that can make important damages and can be efficient at mid-range. The R97 is a ballistic shotgun that is better used at close range. The Arrowhead Energy Sniper can shoot normal projectiles, or you can charge projectiles that can kill an enemy in one shot. The Arclight Energy Pistol doesn't have much recoil but lacks strength. And the LH86 is a ballistic gun, not very strong but it can still save your life in emergency. Three armors are proposed for each faction. Light armors, media armors, and heavy armors. Light armors offer you free movement, but are pretty fragile against most weapons. Media armors represent the perfect compromise between moderate movement and speed and body resistance. Heavy armors prevent you from running, but they grant you pretty strong defense. Once you've made your choice, save your loadout for the next games to play. The game mod. Here you can choose between private and public battle modes. In private mode, you can play with players of your contact list. You'll be able to pick a game mode, a map, and a team if you choose the last stand. Be sure to add yourselves mutually to join a friend's game session. In multiplayer public mode, you can join a fight alone or with some friends. Pick a game mode, invite your friends, then launch into battle. Elimination mode is a free-for-all game mode. Players fight for themselves and must score as many points as possible in the limited time. At the end of the round, the player with the biggest score wins the game. In last stand, two teams fight each other to hack four terminals, named from A to D. Each hack terminal adds points to your team score every second. If you get killed while hacking a terminal, the action is cancelled and has to be started over. Killing opponents only adds points to your personal score. There are four rounds, lasting five minutes each. The first team to get 250 points wins the round, or the team with the highest score when time runs out. Game Mechanics In combat, you'll have to deal with your equipment and your health to win the battle. When you get injured, your body sections can go from yellow to red, then brown. If one of your lines is brown, that means you will die of a blood loss if you don't heal yourself. To use a med pen, press X. If you are running out of med pens, Look for medicine cabinets, then press F and left mouse to refill med pens. At the bottom of your screen, you can check your radar to see enemies around you. Shoot with left mouse. If you aim with right mouse before shooting, you'll have more accuracy. When your magazine is empty, reload with R. Be careful, in Star Citizen, magazines are not thrown away if they still contain bullets. Find a crate like this one to get new magazines. You can find weapons on the map, they will disappear when you die. With some weapons, you can use different shooting modes by pressing V. Try all the weapons and see what it can do. To throw a grenade, press G. Refill grenades at crates like this one. Run with left shift, but be careful, your character can get tired and might no longer run. In 0G, use your directional controls to go forward, backward and strafe. You can also roll. Use spacebar to jump above low walls. The maps. OP Station Demian is an orbital station with a pretty symmetrical structure. On each side of the map, you'd have outdoor platforms on top level floors and hangars underneath. They connect smaller indoor spaces where players can fight in well lit corridors and rooms. Eco 11 is a mining facility located in an asteroid. It features a complex network of corridors going in circles around an empty vacuum that players can cross to go from one point of the map to another. It is a colorful outlaw station and it offers a variety of places to ambush other players. The leaderboard. Now you've got everything to rock on Star Marine. The more you play on public games, the higher you get in the leaderboard. Check other players' positions in either modes and your own game stats. Have a good game.